I want to try and summarise now the contents of this section on the psychology of sales closing, or in fact, as Subayel has called it, the psychology of sales closing conversations. And I think that's the real key to this uh, section, is that you need to understand how to steer the conversation from a psychological perspective. And that's really what we're going to look at here. Now, Subayal started by recapping a really important point, which is in order to be successful, um, you need to build trust with your prospect because you need to, them to open up to you. And without the ability to do this, then what we're showing you in this section about the psychology of sales closing conversations won't actually work. So trust is critical. Secondly, um, it is an unconventional approach to sales closing and you need to appreciate that and you need to be prepared to be a non-conformist instead of just uh, acting as you perhaps have done in the past as a stereotypical salesperson. So you need to be thinking unconventionally and that's also very important. Now, Subayar starts talking and introduces us to the pain pyramid, which contains three levels of pain. At the logical level, um, there's always a problem which can be solved. Uh, and often it has a technological or a financial cost to solve it. So if it has a financial cost, it is therefore a financial problem as well. And it is a consequence, this financial problem, this investment that needs to be made is a consequence of the first level of the problem, the logical problem. So if somebody has a problem, they're going to have to spend money to solve it. However, the thing that's really driving them is that, that they are feeling um, really bad about this. They're feeling stressed. They're not sleeping very well. So at the deepest level, this is an emotional problem. And the stress is the consequence of the first two levels. And you need to understand this. Now, the logical level is limited to the conscious mind. And the financial level is as well. It's something that's measurable and it is something that um, your prospects will be aware of. However, the emotional side is at the subconscious level. And this is really where you need to get to in order to uncover what your prospects are feeling. Now, because the logical and financial problems reside in the conscious mind, they're easier to discuss and address. Your prospects will be much more aware of them. What they're probably less aware is that the emotional pain that is residing in their subconscious mind is actually causing them to be unhappy. And you need to be able to delve into this and get this out. You need to be able to discuss it with them. And in order to do that, you need to have a high level of trust. Now, in copywriting, one of the first things you have to do is you have to remind people of the problem. And you have to tell them about, uh, you know, how difficult life is and how they're feeling and how rotten it is um, before moving on to um, the, you know, the, the solution and all the rest of it. Now, in order to do this, in order to uncover these subconscious pains, you need to open, ask open-ended questions. And uh, we show you how to do this with examples in this section. Now, when you're having these conversations, you're always trying to steer the conversation in the direction you need it to go in order to delve into these three levels. So you need to be consciously running the conversation and driving it in the direction you want it to go. And the aim, the objective, is to get your prospect to talk about the emotional impact on their lives, which arises from the problem that you want to solve for them. Now, we got go back to the pyramid. We have three, three levels of um, pain in the pyramid, but there are also three levels of gap between the pain pyramid and the vision pyramid. And the vision pyramid is the future state where problems will be solved. So here we see the pain pyramid, but what we have at the same time is the vision pyramid, which exists alongside it. And again, when you go back to copywriting, one of the things you say to people is just imagine what life would be like when all this is solved and it's behind you. So you create in their minds a vision state of a perfect life with the problem solved. But in between that, you have these gaps. And it's these gaps that you need to close 
with your problems and solutions, but also with your empathy and your communication and your connection with the prospect. Now, to sum this up, fundamentally, these conversations are not about tools, technology or money. They're about human connection. And this framework will enable you to very consciously delve into the subconscious of your prospects and reach, reach out to them and reach them at a different level than the conventional salesperson. And by doing that, they're going to feel uh, that they know you, they like you, they trust you, they feel understood by you, they think you're somebody who is going to solve their problems and make their life better. And hey, presto, they're going to want to buy from you. So that is the, the, the outline, the framework of the psychology of sales closing and the sales closing conversation. And if you keep this framework in mind and you consciously use it, I'm sure you're going to find that your sales processes and your, uh, uh, your sales targets are going to be much more successfully met.